Hi, we've got a, a Macintosh program here that is showing a graph. This is an X, Y, and Z graph showing aftershocks from the 2004 tsunami earthquake. Uh, the X axis would be your longitude, Y axis would be your latitude, and we actually have uh, the X axis is the equator, and the latitude of these aftershocks these are the epicenters of, of the aftershocks. Um, it's about 150 aftershocks here. It goes from 2 degrees to 10 degrees north, and then longitude is about 91 degrees to 96 degrees east longitude. I'm going to rotate this graph so that we, have, we can see the z-axis, which shows the depth of the foci, and you can see the grid here represents the surface of the Earth. I'm going to tilt it up so that we're actually looking just below the surface of the Earth, and then we can rotate this around to take a look at any patterns that may exist, uh, any linear or planar patterns of the foci from the aftershock. And in this way we can uh, get a better feel for the uh, any fault planes that may exist below the surface, or in this case uh, the boundary between the different plates that caused this earthquake. Rotate this around. And then I will bring it back up to show us the map view. Back to here. Showing the X and Y coordinate again. And that's it.